We might have been the only ones to come here for a thing hunt, but we did. So here is the Barkless Colts. This spawn is located in Abedendriel, and even though you can access part of it just by talking to one NPC, the full respawn is part of the Colts of Tibia quest. And in order to get access to certain areas, you need to do some tasks. And for that, I have a separate video which also covers the boss. But basically, you need to go from one point to another within a certain time. So you will need to do the first two, and with that you get access to the full area, making it viable to hunt in here. Also, there is only two creatures, and as long as you're hunting the full lab, the kills are pretty even, which is good news for bestiary. However, it will be bad news for your wallet, as this spawn is 100% waste. Not a single valuable thing drops from them, so it's a straight up waste. For that reason, it is not a spawn people think about for team hunting, and it's normally only hunted by solo EKs as the experience is worth the waste for them. But during a double experience, when everything is taken and you need to think outside the box, then it becomes a good alternative. So let's break down the lab we use. Just north of the entrance is the first pool. Next up, follow the path to the right and do one there. Going south towards the tar pit is bad, because of the one ways it's hard to do good pulls. Next, follow the path and kill 3 Barkless on the way, either by continuing running or standing still. North from there will be 2 Barkless, which you want to connect with the other 2 further north, or you could connect them with a 3 from the left to avoid having to backtrack. Then go through the carpet and there will be 3 creatures, but often one more fanatic comes. The fanatics are the dangerous ones, as they do more damage than the devotees, so be aware of that. Follow the path to the northeast to another 3 to 4 Barkless. Continue east to a pool with 3 more fanatics, then north through the door to the next pool. You might not be able to open the door, if that happens you need to open it from the other side once, by crossing the carpet back where you came from and then it will be possible after that. But unfortunately for this pool, it's common that a creature ignores the EK and goes for the shooters. That normally happens when crossing doors, creatures tend to keep aggro on different targets. So pay attention to resting the monsters, then move on to the left to do one pool with 4 more monsters. And then the next one, at the crossroads, can be quite scary, as it is easy to overlure. And as I said before, fanatics hit hard. Then for the next one, go southeast and get close to the carpet, just enough to lure out a barclick that tends to be around there. And while doing that, the paladin can go to the right and lure two more fanatics, then backtrack and go west, and if there is still any monsters left, stand on the door to hit both sides. And if not, then lure the three to the south to connect them with two over there. Then the next pool to the south, you will need to walk towards the northeast path to bring another Barclays. After that, stand near the entrance to the acid area, to lure out some from that side, but also there is one or two that can be lured from the right, and that will complete the lap as you are back to the start. But there is one more pool to the south of there that you could do if there is overkilling, but it's unlikely for that to be needed. That aside, the damage is mostly physical, but the combos come from life drain attacks, so using a garlic necklace is much better to protect yourself from dying, even though the majority of damage is physical. And as for the experience, it was around the 1.35kk raw, surprisingly very good for the level range of 130s, and I believe it can still be higher, because we were all characters with bad skills on a new server, and without good immunes. So if you try with a different setup, let us know in the comments how it goes. That's all I got for this video, thank you for watching, and a special thanks to Tuna Hero, Nightstar, and Torto Slasher.